So welcome everyone uh, with the new series by ISTEM Care, which is called Esteem Professional Chat. Here we introduce you to a professional in Esteem Career who have taken non-traditional career path, and and we discuss their journey, their challenges, and their their their, their opportunities, and how did they took those those career options. And we are happy to introduce you today uh, with an, our new guest. And she is Dr. Ritu Singh. She is an assistant professor at PVD University Lucknow. Uh, to introduce you a little bit about her, uh, she has done her bachelor's in biotechnology from CIRS Allahabad in 2012. And later uh, she, she changed her interest and she went on to pursue postgraduate, not in biotechnology, but in, in finance and HR. Uh, and from Institute of Engineering and Technology, Lucknow, in 2014. She finished that PG program. And generally, people go on to do some kind of job or get involved in, in, in you know, get into different kind of uh, career options. But she further went on to pursue PhD in, in, in management, uh, and especially in, in HR and, and, and finance related to rural development. And, and, and there, she, she had a lot of research, which traditionally a uh, 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 scientific career does. And she, but but she have also an avid interest to to do teaching, mentor new 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 uh, students, and and take allow them to grow in their own career. So she she did not just stop there. She went on to do PhD. And and the uniqueness about her is that though although she has a biotechnology background, she went on to do totally diverse career options, and that's why. Uh, she is one of the very interesting candidates which we wanted to interview. So thank you, Ritu, for uh, coming yes, today sir. in our virtual studio. And we are happy to hear your story. And to begin with, uh, if you could give your uh, brief uh, journey, how did you how did you progress till here, and uh, how do you see all all those ups and downs there? Well, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Ritu Singh here and I'm very thankful that teammates, uh, team members of ISTEM to give me this chance uh, and to take my work as something substantial and uh, relevant. So I'm here. Well, as for my introduction, I did my uh, B.Tech in Biotechnology in Genetic Engineering from Allahabad Agriculture Institute from Allahabad. And it is a very well-known, uh, well-known institute there. And uh, after that, I went on to do uh, MBA, and my MBA major subject was finance, minor was HR, and um, I did it with an idea that I might uh, pursue my job into agriculture sector, uh, in uh, making uh, aware people aware about agriculture products and making to do the marketing and the financing of. Uh, agriculture products where so that uh, the rural areas farmers and uh, small scale workers get benef benefited and uh, uh, when that uh, didn't happen so i went on uh, uh, i was also interested in teaching and uh, in order to uh, get knowledge about uh, how to interact with the students how to create a uh, better uh, ecosystem for uh, better students uh, like, my idea was to create a better ecosystem for students so that they can understand that uh, uh, their uh, life goal should not only be about uh, making money but uh, giving something back to society also because I had few good teachers who uh, showed me this path. So I went on for teaching to Babu Banarsidas University in Lucknow and there I also started my PhD. My PhD is in financial inclusion and there's a part of financial inclusion in microfinance and further uh, worked into self-help group and bank linkage program. So all these things, all this diversity has allowed me to give uh, relevant examples and allowed me to connect uh, science and arts and technology and management into my teaching style my pedagogy and uh, sometimes I think uh, this has made me able to give uh, relevant and more useful examples to my students 
and when i'm able to connect with them in uh, while teaching them and giving them examples from the life and connecting science and arts and management together sometimes they also respond that uh, for them the topic or the subject has become interesting and when they apply it and when they give good answer when they show show potential then i think a uh, part of my work has been done so this is me this is dr ritu and thank you for uh, inviting me to be here i feel very happy and privileged to be here for your uh, thanks for this uh, fantastic uh, uh, describing your journey i would uh, ask you that uh, like as as you uh, you have already give 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 a brief uh, outline on this that uh, why did you went for the teaching job but uh, i would like to get more uh, uh, i would like to probe more into this that normally people after an mba go for a high payment uh, job in industry you you kept yourself in teaching and was the society very acceptable of your choice and how did you manage the external pressure because it it becomes a bit uh, uh, troublesome for people so uh, would like to know your thoughts because you have gone through it and uh, you have been successful so if you go well, laboratory um i would uh, i would call myself that i was lucky and that my my family and my relatives of the, the people around me were okay uh, as uh, uh, this teaching job because in the starting when i started my job the uh, the package which i was uh, which i was offered from corporates in which i which i'm getting here in uh, profile this job they, they were almost same so uh, it was a matter of choice so i went for teaching job because it allowed me to stay near to my family and um, uh, to take care of them and um, well it, it's quite well it's a blessing when you get a job uh, in a same city with your parents and you are able to live with them you are able to take care of them and teaching is taken as a very respectable job in our community so it uh, i never face any kind of backlash or any kind of uh, that why i'm doing this job i should have gone for the um, gone for the corporate or like that ha uh, they might uh, in maybe in corporates the you know, you know so uh, the upgradation graph or so forward graph might have been uh, more steep in terms of money but uh, uh, i'm i'm a more uh, more uh, matlab i am a person who looks more for peace uh, rather than uh, a steep uprise in uh, just in money so the so, it was okay choice but i as a person i know if even i have gone into corporates i would have found my peace found my pace there also and uh, this job is also very satisfying when when you see a student turning out good and understanding well if i'm teaching uh, around uh, 150 students per semester and uh, even if only five students are coming out as someone who is contributing to society in a positive way then uh, i think uh, 50% of my job has been done because they are going to be a part of next generation which is going to give us something some better outlook to the society and yeah. i know if even if i uh, if i would have been working in corporate i would have associated myself uh, with some ngo where i could help uh, students or some well, uh, some sectors which need help in our country well, i am quite certain of it so yeah thank you so much uh, for like in the intro and i mean really excited to more about you um, in terms of how did you like uh, when you you have like i remember like you must have done in detail some kind of research work for sure so and then you went on to do a totally different type of research which is uh, not a bench work right so could you please describe about how since you have seen both the, the bench work and the, the the finance research how they are similar and how how they are different uh, in terms of the process uh, and 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 the way we conduct it well uh, when i was in uh, graduation when i was doing btech my la- uh, last semester project was about uh, anti uh, antibiotic properties of neem moringa and uh, rose 
and uh, the whole research was conducted in lab so the all the cultures were grown in the labs and uh, it was a lab work ac lab work with all the machinery provided with all the chemicals provided and uh, uh well it was like uh, it was an ideal environment to sit in and do the research and get the results uh, but when i did research in my phd for finance topic for financial inclusion i had to go and uh, go and interact with rural population i interacted with various uh, bank officials in order to identify that how much these schemes has benefited so the difference was of outdoor and indoor conditions but uh, the similarity is that uh, in any kind of research we need some patience uh, we need to um, we need to be focused and well before conducting any research we need to design a protocol which makes sure that we are moving into uh, right path so this was the similarity and um, the uh, the difference was the outdoor and indoor uh, indoor situations and i enjoyed both working in lab was also good and interacting with people is also good you well some it it opens your eyes when you interact with people and it opens your eyes about the struggles of rural people about the struggles of poor people who are struggling who are trying to make their life better and uh, when, when i talked to some bank officials uh, uh, most of them were my colleagues and um, or my classmates from my mba only or some my seniors so you also get to know that uh, as a collectively we might say that uh, things are not happening in a positive way but a lot of people are working together to make things uh, bearable or I mean, you can say make things positive in this society i have a friend uh, from my college who is an agricultural officer in uh, punjab national bank and she works very hard that uh, uh, women who are associated with the self help group gets uh, their credit gets their uh, financial help as soon as possible and uh, then i have another senior from my mba he is also very helpful when it comes to these schemes and uh, he not only provided me with the uh, with the data but also told me uh, gave, gave me idea about that what problems uh, do people face and what problems the system faces when they are trying to help so when you do this real ground work then you come to understand that uh, you you comes in terms where you come to know about the struggles of people so it becomes you more humble it, uh, you become a, a person who appreciates their surroundings more so uh, this was the change and this was a very well i enjoy everything but <laughs> it's like i i tend to find positive points in every situation so with that uh, comes to we'll go further like so i know that i mean the kind of career you took and the kind of work you went uh, to do in your phd which which was totally different but that requires a lot of courage and not just about externals but a lot of internals which is more of personal ethics and values so would you mind sharing with us about what kept you motivated this is from your internal like whatever your specific values which keeps you uh, working in different fields and and, and stay stay tuned for long to run <clears throat> well uh, there is a very basic uh, basic motto okay whatever you choose to do do 100% never be uh, do it with full heart and uh, well be sure that you what you want to do is something you actually want to do and within the 6 months of my job i was in a teaching job i started in august 2014 so i knew that i want to stay in this field i i liked working with the students i like teaching and uh, and in our country in india uh, it is also mandatory by the government that uh, if a teacher if a person wants to stay in the teaching field a phd degree is a uh, good for their cv it makes them more employable so it became a necessary requirement also and it was an another it was also a, a you know inner motivation that i want to have some uh, some professional high uh, high quality degree which makes me um, which will give me a good standing in the society and also i was always motivated my family in 
my family you know studies and education as uh, are seen as assets so everyone pushes you everyone motivates you towards it so and also uh, when i in initial days my my uh, one my initial my first coach told me that uh, when you give 100% to your job and your your work um, even if the outcome is not as you have uh, thought of but you stay content that you didn't cheat it but, uh, and like, you didn't take a shortcut and you did it well and with hon- honesty and it will give you a certain satisfaction uh, which you might not get in corporate job so well, that was also an idea just well, i was like hey, give your full 100% i uh, mean stay focused uh, be calm and that the solution will come your way you just have to uh, keep working yeah thanks for sharing those uh, ethical points uh, uh i would uh, uh ask you something and would like to know your opinion because when you when you make a transition you see a hurdle because you from being a biotechnology going into the mm-hmm. finance and working in the lab to going out and talking with people in the rural areas so what were the hurdles which you faced and how did you cope up with these hurdle uh, well um, well uh, after doing btech when i went to do mba the the initial days uh, for or you can say for the first semester uh, it was like a, it was more of a theoretical knowledge in first semester that uh, studying all the core subjects of communication and uh, human resources and computer applications so it took me some time but uh, well, uh, it was like a well, i had to uh, reduce my entertainment time but uh, after few months i well, uh, i my clock was set my timetable was set and uh, we def- we find out ways we will uh, uh, you all you have to do is to talk to people talk to your seniors talk to your teachers they will show you the way that if you do this if you study this chapter in this way if you relate this chapter in this way you will understand it more and as for the accounts part was uh, um, accounts and finance and computers were related so i was well known to computers because uh, i used to work on computers and btech and finance and accounts portion is just about mathematics it's it's a simple mathematics approach which uh, as a science student uh, we have always been taught uh, taught from the starting so the uh, the uh, the hard part you say or you can say uh, which require a little extra effort was the theoretical portions where you have to learn all the theories and everything and uh, there in one uh, one semester there is a subject called business laws where you have to remember we have to memorize all the sections that was a uh, kind of little difficult but then we devised ways uh, well, uh, i used to live in hostel so uh, we did a group study and we made charts we made, we made tables so it became easy to learn them it's, it's all about cooperation uh you said that you started like teaching very early even like <clears throat> when you got into after your masters you started teaching and um there would be like many people who may be interested in our viewers like how to start in teaching because many people have an interest but they don't know how how to get started especially in totally different field so since you have a large experience that i would want to hear that like, how your teaching evolved while you have been doing from the beginning and did you took any kind of training or you just did your self learning and went on to teach and become a assistant professor well uh, i didn't have any kind of formal training but uh, well uh, i have ne- well, i was not very uh, uh, you can well, i was not 90% plus student in my class i, I ranged between 70 well, uh, 65 to 75% on my resume on my marks so uh, what happened is like uh, that i also observed my few of my teachers that uh, when you are going into the class and when you are trying to teach some topic or subject keep in mind that every student in uh, sitting in the class is not going to be of high iq nobody is well, there will be students with uh, with different levels of iq 
so you have to uh, you have to devise a way that even the student who who doesn't wants to listen gets interested into listening or or matlab make sure that even the students who has no confidence who thinks that he can he or she cannot understand the topic make it so simple that they also try to understand and in that way the student who thinks that they are weak in that topic they will also try to understand and the student who is good he will understand the topic he might raise questions also and his when you will answer their question it will give uh, insight into the topic even more but as a teacher whenever you try, uh, when you prepare a lecture uh, pre- prepare it in a way that you are going to teach uh, a student or you are going to teach a group of people who has no knowledge of it and you have to start it from scratch never assume that they, uh, what topic you are going to teach the student they already know it or they already know the basics of it so because so that the student who doesn't know doesn't feels left out mm. yeah that that's really nice that people do talk about it but i see that you mm. you act on it so that's a really uh, commendable thing so mm. i i mean i would want to know that since you had a bi- biology knowledge right and then you went on to teach finance so how did you integrate with the your 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 personal like i also look into your cv you have a lot of interesting movies so how do you integrate your your biology your uh, the the personal interest and the teaching and implement in the teaching to make it more interesting i would want to hear well uh, uh, in that case, uh, in in that feel i can answer that uh, since i am a very avid movie watcher person and i i see all kind of movies uh, but the, the story has to be good the execution has to be good and i'm going to like the movie uh, no matter what is the genre be it a suspense or action or uh, romantic or you you might have seen that i flinched at the point of romantic <laughs> that's the least acceptable genre for me but the point is ki um, when i'm teaching to the students the graduate students who uh, who well, for example i'm coordinator of uh, first year students so these are the students who are teenagers and uh, slowly transitioning to become adults and in our country movies are uh, movies are the basic or you can say primary source of entertainment and when as a teacher i sometimes discuss and when i talk about that i have seen this movie i understand this reference so student feels connected towards you and then they get uh, a little bit more open they uh, or you can say unhe aapse thoda kam dar lagta hai apni questions puchne mein so matlab i have seen this that when i have told in class okay i've seen all the parts of marvel series okay i've seen all the seasons of friends also okay i have, uh, i i know about the when i tell them that i i am aware about the 3d games also i know what dota is i know what pubg is so p well there are all kinds of students there are some students who like the who likes friends there are some students who like avengers then there are some students who like dota games so well it's like i am able to connect with every one of them okay i know dota i can understand your uh, why you are so much uh, in uh, invested in dota games and you are used you are always on your phone playing games so well we are able to discuss ki okay uh, this is this is also good here also you are learning some skills and uh, entertainment is also necessary matlab it's like a uh, one once for a time i was talking about movies so i told my children uh, i told my students that it's okay you are watching movies it's okay you are watching english movies it's good to have perspective it's good to have variety but when you are watching english movies make sure that you are watching them in english only because that will um, give you uh, idea about how to use the correct words how to use the correct accent and because as a student when i started watching uh, watching english movies i used to uh, i used to keep uh, dictionary on the other hand if if there is any word which i am not understanding i immediately go to would go to the dictionary that's how i learned english and that's how i how i became fluent in it because if you are telling a student agar aap kisi bacche ko ye bata rahe ho ki akhbar padho english ka tumhari english achhi ho jayegi that is not going to work because that is not an entertaining way yeah matlab 
इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर अस कि हम एंटरटेनमेंट को भी थोड़ा एंटरटेनमेंट से भी कुछ सीखें एंड बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज इन बी टेक तो वेन एवर इट वॉज माई सेमेस्टर ब्रेक तो आई यूज टू गो फॉर एन इंग्लिश कोचिंग मैं इंग्लिश कोचिंग क्या थी इट वॉज अ पर्सनैलिटी रिलेटेड कोचिंग तो द आई हैड अ टीचर वे so uh, his name we used to call him guru ji so he told us that uh, he gave us an idea that every language has four parts reading writing and listening and speaking the more you read the better you write the more you listen the uh, better you speak so uh, uh, so it's like if you want to increase your writing skills read good books and uh, don't refrain from matlab don't uh, refrain yourself from not reading novels it's not uh, don't refrain yourself to only reading newspapers read good novels also and if and watch good uh, english movies also they will uh, give you some inspirational message also you will learn the accent also you will learn new words and proverbs also so well, when i was a student i have like this fat register where i have a collection of uh, different words and proverbs from lot of movies i have watched so matlab this yeah. was my practice so when i told it to students so they got a perspective okay so now if i when i'll uh, watch the movie next time it is not just going uh, i'm not i will not just be spending time in watching movie i'll try to learn something also yeah i mean so, i see that your style is to to teach by examples not just by words so better to do self it's like mahatma gandhi used to tell like you should first practice and then preach so so you practiced and then you said okay now you can try probably this may work and i think then you can better advise them if they face face problem because you must have face problem it's uh, because uh, i'm teaching in bbd lucknow and lot of students are coming from up east area also and bihar area also so the the students who are coming up east area bihar area and who are coming from a hindi medium sometimes they come to me and say ki ma'am uh, we are facing problem in uh, english we face problem in that or we face problem in framing the sentence so i give them all the options i can i told them ki read newspaper also it will increase your knowledge towards the market also you will be able to write good answers and then i also tell them ki aap log achhi english movies bhi dekhiye aapka weekend pe aapka entertainment bhi ho jayega you will matlab aap hum har samay padhai nahi kar sakte we can't be studying all the time तो वॉच गुड मूवीज गुड इंग्लिश मूवीज मुझसे सजेशन ले लीजिए मैं बता दूंगी कि क्या देखना है क्या नहीं और इंग्लिश मूवी को इंग्लिश में ही देखिए और अपने हाथ में एक डिक्शनरी रखिए अब हम हम सबके पास स्मार्टफोन है स्मार्टफोन में डिक्शनरीज होती है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च द मीनिंग ऑफ अ वर्ड यू कैन इजिली आस्क गूगल एलेक्सा और सीरी आप अपनी मूवी पॉज कीजिए वर्ड का मीनिंग ढूंढिए समझिए और आगे बढ़िए तो मतलब इन दिस वे यू विल learn also and you will have the entertainment so so and when i when i tell the students that i have seen all the parts of avengers i have seen uh, uh, lord of the rings also and everything and i have notes on them also so they become interested okay well we never saw that uh, we never saw at that movie in that perspective so yeah so you to matlab this is like i hope मेरे को भी ऐसे टी शर्ट मिले होते जो मतलब ये बताते कि मूवी को इस तरह से भी इंजॉय करो नहीं तो हमें तो ऐसे वी हैव गॉट सम टीचर्स हु विल से दैट द मोमेंट यू विल बी पुट टू राइट समथिंग ऑन द मूवी ना यू विल स्टॉप इंजॉइंग द मूवी दैट इज हाउ वी वर टोल्ड हाउ नॉट टू वॉच द मूवीज फोकस ऑन द स्टडीज ये एक जनरल परस्पेक्टिव है कि मूवीज आपको खराब करते हैं uh, no. मूवीज आपको कभी खराब नहीं करते हैं मतलब बस आपको पता होना चाहिए कि क्या देखना है एंड समटाइम्स मतलब मूवीज कैन ओपन योर माइंड मतलब यू मतलब आपको थोड़ा रिसर्च करना पड़ेगा आपको मतलब इट्स नॉट लाइक कि मैंने हमेशा अच्छी मूवीज देखी मैंने मतलब आई थिंक मेरा अकाउंट आज की डेट में छब्बीस सौ सत्ताईस सौ से ऊपर चला गया होगा इन नेम इन दी नंबर ऑफ मूवीज बट द पॉइंट इज कि मैंने अच्छी मूवीज भी देखी है खराब मूवीज भी देखी हैं और अब मुझे पता चल गया कि कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि कोई मूवी अच्छी हो सकती है एंड मतलब नाउ एट दिस एज आई माई आई एम मोर फोकस्ड ऑन डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज और डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज जब मैं देखती हूँ मुझे उसमें से कुछ जानकारी मिलती है तो आई सजेस्टेड टू माई स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो डेट गो एंड वॉच द डॉक्यूमेंट्री 
you will also you will learn something you will get some information also and maybe later on you will be able to write that information in your answer sheet also everyone has faced this during the pandemic you were teaching students in the classroom suddenly the pandemic hits aapko sab kuch on online pe karna tha how difficult or how easy it was from your perspective from student perspective what was your learning and uh, what one thing you can say to the student matlab jinko jinke sath aapko issue hua hai kuch bhi matlab ek problem ke roop mein agar aap dekhe to kya aap bologe well uh, since i teach students graduation students so they are like 18 plus students most of them so um, at this stage uh an individual has a mindset which is which you cannot change easily and as we are talking about the pandemic okay so for the first few weeks uh, the studies were sincerely disrupted and we as a teacher i was also thinking that how the syllabus is going to be complete how these students are going to transfer into the next year well uh, i was hoping ki you know uh, their year should not go waste but then uh, government got uh, guidelines also came that uh, we have to transition into online mode so i went to the uh, i went i went to google and uh, i asked help from google and i asked help from my friends who were well versed in technology so i first of all when uh, i first i learned how to use zoom a friend gave me a uh, gave me hands on experience with this so and then um, we Uh, let me. Uh, I dis- I made a protocol also that how to use Zoom. I told I shared it with students because the point is that nobody wants to stop. एक जो any in um, any individual nobody wants to stop at some point. मतलब बच्चे भी ये नहीं चाहते. Students भी ये नहीं चाहते कि वो मतलब उन वो छह महीने के लिए छह महीने की छुट्टी उन्हें घर में मिल जाए. They also want to study. They also want to utilize their to- uh, time properly. तो हम लोगों ने methods decide कर लिए हमें हमें जब डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से मैनेजमेंट की तरफ से प्रॉपर परमिशन एंड ग्रीन सिग्नल मिल गया दैट वी हैव टू ट्रांजेक्शन टू द ऑनलाइन मोड सो आई आल्सो लर्न बिकॉज द पॉइंट वाज दैट कि सिंस आई वाज ऑलरेडी आई हैड ऑलरेडी डन माय पीएचडी आई हैव सबमिटेड माय थीसिस एंड आई वाज ओके विद द यूज ऑफ लैपटॉप एंड ऑल तो ऑल माय नोट्स वर प्रिपेयर ऑन इन सॉफ्ट कॉपी एंड देन आई लर्न हाउ टू यूज जूम then we transferred that protocol to students also those students who wanted to study they also came jo issue hua jo struggle hua that was the struggle of network or that matlab that was an external uh, that was an external factor that uh, internet uh, facilities uh, are not good or not very uh, stable in rural areas to un bachcho ko thoda issue hua but then also usme bhi humne aapas mein cooperate kiya कि आई टोल्ड सम गुड स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ माई क्लास जिन्होंने सारे नोट्स अपने पास रख लिए थे कि मेक श्योर कि योर अदर क्लासमेट्स हैव दोज नोट्स जो बच्चे क्लास नहीं अटेंड कर पा रहे थे गूगल क्लास रूम नहीं ज्वाइन कर पा रहे थे मैंने उनको व्हाट्सएप पे भी नोट्स भेजे व्हाट्सएप में नॉट मे नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ फॉर्मल मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बट अब उनके पास वही ऑप्शन था तो I shared notes there also that these are your notes. Go through it. If you have any question, ask me. आप मुझे chat box पे question लिख के भेज दो मैं आपको answer लिख के भेज दूँगी. कोई numerical में issue हो रहा है तो आप उसका screenshot लेके भेज दो मैं solution करके उसका screenshot लगा के आपके साथ share करूँगी. But if you are doing if uh, but if you are doing efforts, so I will also do efforts. I am here to help you. My job is to help you. रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दी गई थी कि यू विल बी दूट्यूब लाइक दैट कुछ ऐसा था जिसमें आपने वीडियोज क्योंकि आपके स्कूल के बहुत सारे वीडियोज है मैनेजमेंट के विच इज गुड फॉर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स तो उसको आपने कैसे सीखा वेल गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट केम विद गाइडलाइंस दैट 
डिजिटल कंटेंट शुड बी देयर सो दैट स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम इट बिकॉज उस टाइम पे हमें नहीं पता था कि कब सिचुएशन नॉर्मल होगी और हम वापस से फिर से हम लोग अपने नॉर्मल फेस टू फेस स्टडी स्ट्रक्चर में जा पाएंगे तो इट वॉज की वी हैव टू मेक ऑनलाइन नोट डिजिटल एंड सॉफ्ट कॉपी नोट एंड अपलोड दैम ऑन द वेबसाइट देर इज अर इज अ वेबसाइट अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम यूपी गवर्नमेंट विच शेयर ऑल काइंड ऑफ नोट फ्रॉम ऑल काइंड ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन डिग्रीज वहाँ पर भी हमने मतलब अपने डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से मैंने करीब छः सात सौ टॉपिक्स पे नोट्स वगैरह अपलोड किए हैं एंड जो वीडियो वाला काम था उसमें भी यही था कि वी ऑल हैड टू मेक लेक्चर वीडियोज एंड वो हमारे डिपार्टमेंट में कई लोगों ने बनाया सभी लोगों ने बनाया हमने भी बनाया और फिर उसमें एडिटिंग का एक जो बेसिक्स होता है हमें सिखाया गया वी डिड दैट एडिटिंग एंड अपलोडेड इन ऑन यूट्यूब वो पूरा हमें मतलब कॉलेज की तरफ से भी ट्रेनिंग मिली एंड मेरी खुद भी आदत है कि मैं रेगुलर एफ में और सेमिनार्स में वर्कशॉप में पार्ट लेती रहती हूँ तो आई टुक आई टुक पार्ट इन फिफ्टीन डेज वर्कशॉप फ्रॉम रामानुजन कॉलेज दिल्ली उनकी ऑनलाइन वर्कशॉप थी पेंडेमिक में पंद्रह दिन की उसमें उन्होंने हमें मतलब लैपटॉप पे ही मतलब आई वाज डूइंग इट ऑन माय लैपटॉप ओनली उसी पे हम लोग को कई तरी कई सारे सॉफ्टवेयर्स को यूज करना सिखाया हाउ टू यूज ओबीएस हाउ टू यूज जूम हाउ टू यूज गूगल क्लासरूम एंड हाउ टू यूज ओपन शॉर्ट एडिटर हाउ टू यूज रेंडर फ्रॉस्ट एनिमेशन सर्विसेज टू मेक बेटर नोट्स तो वो मतलब पंद्रह दिन की एक प्रॉपर वर्कशॉप थी उसमें मुझे बस शाम को दो घंटे देने पड़ते थे उस वर्कशॉप के सारे वीडियोस देखने में और उसका असाइनमेंट करने में एंड आई लर्न फ्रॉम इट एंड देन आई यूज इट इन दैट एंड फिर मतलब मैंने अपने मेरे भी खुद के करीब 40 वीडियोस हैं जो कि अपलोडेड है एंड उस मतलब ओवरऑल डिपार्टमेंट की बात की जाए तो अब तक हम लोग आई हैव अपलोडेड अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब ऑल्सो Mm, that's it. That's really a commendable job. Uh, yeah. So I have another question about. Um, I see that you have a lot of interest in finance, and I'd be interested to know that how do you apply these finance principles in 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 your own life, especially in terms of. We know that one of the main pain sector for finance is to. advertise and sell more and allow people to uh, purchase more and then the main challenge for the people to be minimalistic and and you know not going for too much but uh, so finance does have these these principles but common person doesn't know how to how the whole market works and how we apply in our own life so you want to speak something on that part well uh... making people attracting uh, you know attracting consumer towards a product is more of a marketing part finance is focused on to identify the investment avenues even the investment avenues requires a spending and um, so the, here are three or more topics which are infused together here so in finance uh, well, uh, i teach economics i teach investment analysis i teach uh, financial management and uh, forex management and all these kind of things so in as a whole world in a whole or if you talk about the whole economy it is all dependent on uh, the flow of money and uh, if we want to keep the country running if we want to keep the economy running we have to keep the flow of money also running so um what happens ki uh, there has to be a flow of money because we cannot say ki matlab kharcha karna bilkul hi band kar dijiye to economy mein paise hi nahi aayega to matlab kaise kaam badega thoda bahut to kharch karna zaruri hai but uh matlab as an individual every individual tries to increase their wealth so that their future can be a little bit more secure in in times of need they should have a some um something to fall back on we can say or you can say that we need some uh, stash not a stash the stash can not be a very positive word here but we want to have some uh, some of money with us which we we, we can use at the time of need so it is uh, everybody tries that matlab ek matlab ek low income uh, family se leke ek uh, high income family tak sabhi log ye cheez try karte hain तो 
पॉइंट इज की दैट दिस फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन जो होती है जो फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस होती है वो uh, हमें स्कूल कॉलेजेस में नहीं सिखाई जाती है वो पर्सन के इंटरेस्ट पे डिपेंड करती है और वो उसे कैसे जनरेट करते हैं ये उस पर भी डिपेंड करता है तो इट्स लाइक कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन कोरोना पीरियड इन कोविड पीरियड एवरीबडी हैज टू स्टे इन डोर्स एवरीवेयर इट वॉज अ लॉकडाउन and all a lot of businesses were shut down and there are still a lot of business who haven't revived yet so uh, but we need that money we need to flow some money in the economy so that every person can generate some income and can survive in this world so what comes here that um, as a person uh, we have to integrate it in our studies in our curriculum to make people understand that uh, whenever you do the purchase or uh, whenever you are doing making any investment make sure what are your objectives are or what are your requirements because it's this there is a simple concept in economics or ye matlab hum economics mein bhi padhate hain aur jo hum log school mein social science mein civics aur uh, history aur geography matlab civics pad rahe hote hain usme hame simply bataya jata hai ki um that you have to identify the utility of the product and you also have to identify the objective which you want to achieve from it so financial basis pe agar baat kare agar koi person is spending karna chahta hai to unhe ek uh, ek objective define karna hona chahiye ki uh, and this is my money main isko is tarike se grow karna chahta hu and it has to be in this percentage only so wo uh, jo thodi knowledge hai wo थोड़ा सा अवेयरनेस के साथ आती है मतलब पर्सन हैज टू बी अपने अंदर मतलब दे हैव टू बी इंटरनली मोटिवेटेड दैट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई वी नीड टू गैदर इंफॉर्मेशन बिफोर इन्वेस्टिंग एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू स्पेंडिंग तो स्पेंडिंग तो मतलब इट्स लाइक डिपेंड्स ऑन पर्सन टू पर्सन मतलब वो हम मिनिमलिज्म के जो पॉइंट है यहाँ पे वो हम किसी को फोर्स नहीं कर सकते वो हम किसी को सिखा नहीं सकते वो पर्सन की अपनी खुद की अंडरस्टैंडिंग से आता है एंड हर इंडिविजुअल का जो मिनिमलिज्म पॉइंट जो होता है जो मिनिमलिज्म जो और यू कैन से जो मिनिमलिज्म थ्रेश होता है वो डिफरेंट होता है एक स्टूडेंट का मिनिमलिस्टिक थ्रेश या अप्रोच डिफरेंट होगी एक बिजनेसमैन की डिफरेंट होगी एक एग्जीक्यूटिव की डिफरेंट होनी होती है और एक मतलब पर्सन टू पर्सन डिपेंड करता है बट पॉइंट इज लाइक दैट की वी कैन नॉट वी कैन नॉट फोर्स एनी थिंग वेन यू स्टार्ट फोर्सिंग समथिंग पीपल लूज इंटरेस्ट इन इट्स आर जॉब टू मेक पीपल अवेयर अबाउट इट एंड हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस इट वी शुड लीव इट ऑन दैट ओके दैट रियली वेरी नाइस पॉइंट विच आई थिंक ऑल दूर शुड लाइक ट्राई टू लर्न एंड विद दैट वी रीच टू आवर फाइनल um point that and with all these are your experiences and you know if anybody like especially for the advice for the people who wants to switch the the field like you did from btech to hr uh, like mba and then going back to phd in in the in the same field so do you want to give a final advice to such people such viewers that how should they they should take in in maybe few points that um, how should they approach and how should they conduct when they try to to transition in such such diverse field well uh, i tell my student what i say to my students i'll say it here also that never choose a field because uh, majority is choosing it choose a field of or uh, well, i hope and i pray that every student every individual gets this freedom of choice that uh, what they want to do in life they choose it by themselves uh, according to their interest only and uh, it's like uh, how to say it i just don't want to um, make anyone feel bad here but the point is ki uh, whenever you choose a field it should be uh, your uh, should come from your heart not because uh, there is a majority interest in that field well okay maximum log yahi kar rahe hain to main bhi ye karunga ye nahi hona chahiye ya aur is matlab this is this should not be the approach towards life 
if uh, if you really want to be happy in a, in a, i don't want to i don't want to sound too philosophical philosophical here i want just i want people to have a little practical approach here that if you want to be satisfied with your job if you want to be satisfied with your life you have to identify and you have to put your feet down for something you really want to do yeah so i think that's that's really a very valuable advice for everyone and uh, that choose from your heart not from external pressure external things because they may not be always around so <laughs> at the end we have to fly our own aeroplanes nobody is going to fly people can help you to take take off but flying in the sky is a personal job so so that with that we will close today's discussion and we would like to sincerely thank ritu to you uh, for giving your time and and sharing your journey with us um, and i believe that viewers will definitely get benefited from your career journey and and some people may try to reach out to you to ask for advice uh, so which social media platform or which medium would you prefer to communicate um, uh, i'm a, i am present on uh, linkedin they can ask me uh, and on linkedin my um, uh, my credentials are available there my email id is given there so they can reach me there uh, they can easily find me um, if if you search me as dr ritu singh from bvd university they can easily find me there and uh, put your question in the message box i'll try to answer it as soon as possible awesome uh, thank you so thank you so much and we'll close here uh, all right bye bye take you. care good yeah. night okay. okay thank you for having me and thank you for this opportunity and i hope i was able to convey a positive message to everyone here yeah okay thank okay. you okay. thank you okay. good night good night